Traditional sources of energy have over the years proven not only costly, but quite unsustainable. Solar energy could be a viable alternative. The sun is renewable because the sun will shine all the time. Like in six minutes, you have uh, the sun is shining on the earth. It's enough energy for the whole consumption of the earth. Solar energy is very democratic energy. Every village, every place on this planet gets some. It is to train some 38 leaders of non-governmental organizations on the production and uses of solar energy that an international workshop is taking place in Yaoundé. The trainees taking pleasure in exhibiting what they've learned so far. A tour of the stands explains away the main advantages solar energy offers. You can either use solar energy to light to have the light bulbs in your house, maybe electricity for TV, maybe if it's bigger for a fridge, you can use it to cook or to dry fruits and vegetables. Most Cameroonian households still use the three stone fireside, but that might not still be necessary only if they come to understand the merits of what has become known as the improved kitchen fireside. Solar energy is still not available, wood will continue to be used but more sustainably. If you look at the rocket stove, you have uh, at the base here, you have the, the, the container. Inside the container, there's a tunnel. In between the container and the tunnel, there is insulation. So that when you put fire from this end, this other tunnel, with just one piece of wood or two, the fire comes right here at the middle of the tunnel. As it comes through straight at the base of the port, there's little energy loss. The use of renewable energies, experts say, will help combat climate change. Because the non-renewable energies like fossil energies, uh, petrol, carbon, gas, but you burn them and after that you have a lot of CO2 and so you have the, the climate warming. Many present at Saturday's exhibition said they would like to get access to solar energy, but their request could be boxed down by the high cost of equipment.